for me. I've gotten to know him real well, and I'm very excited to be doing an event for Jonathan this coming Tuesday. Tell us a little bit about what's going to happen, Jonathan, this Tuesday, October 21st. Well, just real quick, a uh, quick background. I've uh, when I, got, I moved out here about two years ago, and I started doing uh, fitness training with people, and uh, I've just found that the people that are uh, most attracted to the, the, my training are, are people who are maybe on the, on the older side. They're not feeling so good. They're not really looking very good. They're not feeling up to speed. And, and a lot of them are uh, really just shackled to uh, medications. They're living from one doctor visit to another. And uh, it's just a common thing I've noticed. And um, so, of course, you know, having listened to your show for so many uh, years by now and becoming pretty well versed in, in your uh, your outlook and your approach to, uh, to health and, and, and fitness is obviously a carryover. I brought that message to my, my clients, and uh, you know I brought them uh, into the uh, world of longevity products, and uh, it's done a lot for them. A lot of people, women, are reporting that they're not feeling hot flashes anymore. They're uh, feeling better. The, uh, the the men are uh, losing weight. The women are losing weight. They're just feeling better all around. And uh, you know, I, again, my, my message to them is: look, let's uh, let's try to get you uh, you know to to, to better uh, take care of your body, so that maybe eventually you're not going to need the meds. I've had people get off of meds, so. It's been really, really successful, and um, it's just uh, it's just sad that there's uh, so few people around uh, that that know how to take care of themselves properly. So, uh, it, it, teaming up with you, we're going to have this seminar on uh, Tuesday that is uh, really just going to be uh, meant to to bring to people's attention that they have non toxic solutions uh, to to take control of their of their health and to uh, take uh, control of the aging process and, and reverse the disease process as well. And so uh, it's, it's going to be just a seminar to have uh, the people understand what their options are and, and uh, really just get them uh, enthusiastic about being healthy and, and understand that, that there is health out there for them and that they're not destined to, uh, to be uh, enslaved by, by the, uh, their, their pharmacy uh, uh, regimen or, or they're just feeling not so good. It, the medical model. We call it the yes, medical. Sir. Yes, being That's enslaved right. by the medical model. So, how do you use the longevity products in your in your practice? I, I call it a practice. I assume that's what you call it as well. You're uh, you're a trainer, but you, I, I assume it's kind of like a practice. How do you use the longevity products? Well, what I do is uh, at first I, I just get them into the physical fitness thing because a lot of times people are just not doing anything, and then eventually once they uh, start feeling better, they're feeling a little more energetic, or maybe starting to feel a little more hardened from the muscle tone they're gaining, then. I start to introduce, introduce the uh, uh, different uh, uh, products, especially the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which is, is tasty and easy. And, and sometimes I'll even give them some samples, and it, they always come back and, and say, wow, this is the great stuff. And uh, so I always start with the BTT. Uh, and then eventually, uh, especially for, uh, again, for the older folks who are looking to uh, take control of their health at the hormone level and at the, at the deeper levels more than more than just uh, the surface, then uh, we get them into uh, the EFAs. And I'm always remembering back to you're saying uh, the, the minimum wage of nutrition, which is going to be the BTT, the healthy, uh, yeah, healthy, the healthy start pack, healthy start right, pack, yeah. uh, and the and the um, and the uh, essential fat uh, capsules, especially, and then in, in the probiotics. So you know, even just if they stop there, they're all reporting uh, really good results and, and they just feel better they, they they're coming to the sessions more energetically uh they're losing weight it all happens automatically and, and the thing that they're, they're all saying is wow it was so easy you know uh, especially with the help of the btt and the uh, side uh effect, you know the, the appetite suppression effects that they enjoy mm -hmm. on the side in addition to all the other stuff that they get so um right and they're just losing the weight feeling better so you know i introduced it uh gradually after they're already up and running and 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 they will and almost invariably stay with it because yeah, it, two plus two is four. They know that that's you know the, the results are coming from the uh, this expansion of their nutritional horizons. Now you haven't you were into nutritional supplementation before longevity, correct? Or uh, not so much, not so yeah. much. It was actually after I heard you on the Alex Jones show. I, I was getting cold left and right where I had never had them before, and I'm like, what the heck is going on here? So uh, I didn't really do too much supplementation actually until I heard about your message of we're, that we're not sick, we're starving, and it just made perfect sense. And so I actually started supplementing clearly as I was inspired by you. I used to shun supplementation up until about uh, oh, yeah? The, yeah, until October of uh, 2011 when I started listening to your show. So, yeah, you, you really got me into that. I, I didn't really give much mind to it beforehand. So what would you tell somebody who's listening out there and they're like, well, I'm just going to eat my food. My doctor didn't tell me about supplements. I don't think I think that pharmacy guy, he's crazy. What would you tell? What would you tell them if they're completely naysayers, complete naysayers about nutritional supplementation? What would be your message to them? Well, I, 
I say to them this. I say, look, uh, you know, uh, you're eating McDonald's. You're eating Tim Hortons. You're, you know, having this and that food. You're not feeling so good. Do you think your body's going to reconstitute itself properly out of the foods you're eating? Do you think your egg and cheese McMuffin is going to become a healthy cell or a healthy, you know, just like you say yourself that, you know, if you're eating pizza and M&Ms, well, your cell membranes are going to be made out of pizza grease and M&Ms, you know, and, and that usually hits home for them, you know. They And I say, look, you know, you need more of the good stuff and you need to unload yourself of the bad stuff. At the very least, I think it's easier to add things to the regimen than it is to subtract foods they love. So I say, let's start off by just trying some supplements. See how you feel. You'll feel better instantaneously. I, I say, I look them right in the eye and say, I guarantee you, you're going to feel better. And I, I don't see it in, with any flinching either because I already know it's true. I already, yeah. It's like, like the, the, the sun rises every day. I know right. that they get on these supplements and they add these to the, even if they don't subtract what they do love, they'll still feel better. So that's usually the tack I take. And, and, and they're willing to, especially with the samples, they're, they're willing to give it a shot. And it always, they always come back for more. How could you not get better? Once you understand the logic of it, how your body runs on these things, it, it, how could you not get better if you're nutritionally deficient? You're absolutely right. 100%. It's a must. It can't right. not happen. So how about... And, and you can look at someone and you know they're nutritionally deficient just by looking at them. You I mean, can tell by looking. In the business. Absolutely. Yes. Especially yes, if they're overweight. And, yeah. you know, something, just like you said, something is off about their biochemistry. You can just tell by looking at them. Correct. Bam. Correct. Doing a profile. Mm. Yeah, and the more you the more you see people, the more data you get, the more sample points you get, the more clients you observe visually, the more you notice that there's some commonalities that nutritional deficiencies appear as. Skin doesn't oh, look as good, the body doesn't look as good, there's weight problems. All of these are uh, hair problems. There's all these manifestations of nutritional deficiencies that are visually observable. And likewise, there's all these reversals that take place right in front of your eyes almost. More energy, weight loss. Weight loss is my favorite. I'm how many times have you seen uh, people lose weight and not even try once they're on the supplements? Oh, that's that's, that's the thing. I, I tell people, look, you don't you don't have to starve yourself. You don't have to sit there and pine right. for your next meal. You know, it doesn't have to be that way. And that usually gets people's eyes lighting up because you know they equate losing weight with, with oh, suffering. Well, what's the, Right, what's with the misery. have to go through yeah. that? No, and yeah, I say, yeah. look, we're looking to settle on a sustainable program, and it's going to include supplements, and you're simply not going to want to eat. You're going to be fine. And they don't believe me, but I said, look, let's take the plunge. And, you know, that's why I have retention, because I'm, I, I, they're, they uh, get success. That's great. Now, how about, what would you tell somebody who's on the fence about longevity? Oh, I don't know if I really am a businessman. I don't know if I really want to do it. What would you tell somebody? You're saying uh, a person. Uh, yeah, on the fence about fire. joining up, about signing up. They're, you know, they're thinking, well, I don't know if I want to participate in a multi-level. I don't know if I want to be a businessman. I don't, I'm just going to take the products. What would you tell people about the business side of things? Well, you know, I, I, set, them, I, I set things up. Uh, the first thing I, I tell people rather soon is I, you know, I'm very simple, you know, and I, I, I don't really buy into anything that I'm not interested in. You know, I, I, it's hard to sell stuff to me. And so I treat everybody else like that. Like, I don't do the hard sell. I say, you know, uh, I just don't really get into anything. But, but I do take these things and I stand by it. And then you'll see down the line as you get results with me, uh, that you know you can uh, you can sign up and get on board uh, because uh, you know I'm very discerning about that and uh, you're gonna see after you see the product quality you're gonna see that it's worth your while and that it, you know signing up is, is in your interest because then you can turn around and go to the next person and say okay you know you can sell that to them too because you've gotten the results and you can you have the conviction as you tell them what's going on and yes. they're gonna believe that so uh, you know it's really a matter of conviction and and, uh, and being discerning and uh, treating people Jonathan, I gotta, I gotta hit you off. We're out of time. It's uh, uh, the event is October 21st in Olean, New York, on State Street. Was it 701? What's the address again, real quick? Jonathan. Yes, sir. Uh, you, real you quick. Hear me? What, yeah, yeah. What's the address? We've got about 10 seconds. Four, 401 East State Street in Olean, New York. Hope to see you out there. Thanks for, thanks for being on, Jonathan. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now.